some delicious breakfast. This morning, Gary's on the go at Sacramento Seasons Coffee Roasters Cafe. Gary, this place looks really cool. I got to say I'm liking it, Richard. I got to say I'm liking it. Very cool. Uh, an, an awesome coffee place here on N Street. And, uh, and we know this guy, Greg. If you don't know Greg, he used to work at Fox 40 a long time ago. Long time ago. It's been years. And here he is now <laughs> owning his own coffee place. That's what we love. Yeah. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, Gary. Welcome. All right. So tell us a about, uh, you know, Seasons. What, what can we expect here? Because the place is beautiful. Did you do the, uh, the decorating here? Uh, I was not the designer. Her name okay. is a Amy Bush. But uh, if it's on the wall, I put it there. Uh, okay. We also did a Venetian plaster on the wall. So that was another project that took a little bit of time and a little bit of learning but yeah we came out with a very unique design okay unique speaking of that what makes you guys a little bit more unique at seasons well I mean first off we're family owned and we're farmers from Galt so uh, my family has a blueberry farm called rhythm and blueberries that you can find in farmers markets around the area as well as wine grapes and almonds and then now we have coffee as this next venture that's so cool love that all right yeah. Tara's back there whipping up on the machine and she made me a mocha where's my mocha do I have one Gary your mocha's right here because oh. I know you aren't a coffee drinker we've we had go. so many segments together where you said I don't drink coffee but now you'll drink it if it tastes exactly like chocolate. Okay, and listen, let me give this a try. And by the way, uh, you just said it was freezing, Richard, I know, but look, I'm going for the iced one anyway. It should taste like chocolate. Oh, that's a nice brew. Yeah, it is. So, okay. Very chocolatey. So, so you succeeded. We did. See, that's the thing, is not everyone enjoys coffee, so we got to take care of that customer, too. We've got a blueberry lemonade. We've got paninis. we got avocado toast, and of course, that ice mocha. And the ice mocha. All right, so you kind of went up through real quick. I love this, that we have the coffee and you have yeah. food. I was thinking, all right, I'm coming to Seasons, and, and I know yeah. you figured we just going to have some coffee, but your, your food looks amazing. Absolutely, yeah. You know, we've worked really hard on our menu. Uh, we've got breakfast sandwiches, breakfast tacos in the morning. We've got this avocado toast that runs all day. We've got various paninis that go on in the afternoon, uh, and we're open from 7 to 7, so that's a lot of hours people are going to get hungry. 7 to 7, and, and it's going well in this building? You know, everything's good it for you? It is, yeah. I mean, obviously we're down the hall from the Sacramento Ballet, but there are several other tenants that are performance arts based. Capital Stage, the McKeever School of Irish Dance, there's a Brazilian Cultural Center, there's, there's several others. But of course we're open to the community through those blue doors you mentioned earlier. Right, just come through the blue doors, you can't miss it. If you're coming down N Street there, like 24th and N, right about there somewhere. 24th and N, yeah, look for those blue doors. Right, it's the big old, formerly the Fremont School for Adults for those who have been in Sacramento a while. Right, so when you're walking by, just look for the blue doors. If you don't see the sign, come on in and yeah. get it. All right, so now yeah, she's making the beautiful drinks. That one's gorgeous, by the way. Oh, I look I at know. how she's working. How long have you been working doing this kind of stuff? Um, I've been doing barista stuff for about four years. Four years. Yeah. Well, she's she, you found she's a good, good. one. Yeah, she knows what's going on. Now behind you, we uh -huh. got to go back there. What is back there? Go back there because tell us what. This is kind of neat. Well, we had a small little room that we wanted to celebrate with balloons, of course, but what we ended up doing is curating a book library where uh, books are for sale. So uh, we have various used books that are available, um, honestly, all kinds of shapes and sizes, but we have fair pricing figured out. And hey, if you don't know if you want to buy it, come by, stay a while, and read it. I love that. That's awesome. All right, let's come back out this way. Back it out, Larry, if you can. Beep, beep, beep. That was making your reverse. All right, you turned around. Good job. All right, there we go. Customers in the house. Hi, customer. <laughs> Good to see you. Have you been here before? Yes. Do you love the coffee? I love it. The lattes are the best in town. That's awesome. I may have to upgrade to a latte. I mean, that might be a big jump for my mocha, right, Greg? We'll get you there. He's we'll going to get, get you there. there. That's good. All right, come on now and check it out. He said they're open from 7 to 7. And one last thing, Richard, before I send it back. Let's go this way. I want to see if you know what this is right here. Do you know what that is? You probably will. I knew. Bowling what is that? Bag. A bowling ball bag. Exactly. Yes. I, I th I'm thinking there's a lot of people that probably would not know what that is. A bowling ball bag. But we all had those back yeah. in, the, in the 60s and 70s, right? Yeah. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> but the food looked good, spectacular there, too. Do you see those croissants? Oh, good looking. All right. 829 right now.